see Gordon Lightfoot. Um, I've been a fan of his ever since I was um, a teenager. My name is Rosemary McGinn. I lived in Aurelia when Gordon Lightfoot was there. I attended grade 13 high school with him and I do my best to get to all his shows. Personal story. 1968 when my first record was starting to become a hit in the U.S., I bumped into, I bumped into uh, Gordon at um, at O'Hare Airport. He gave me some uh, some business advice. He said, "Make sure you get paid in Canadian funds." At the time, in 1968, which was what 40 some odd years ago. Um, the Canadian dollar was a dollar five to the U.S. Um, so I took that advice for just a small amount of time, and then it reversed itself. So that's a personal story. Gordon Lightfoot used to play in um, little coffee houses in Toronto, in Yorkville, and um, so I've been to several of his concerts years and years ago before he was really huge, and um, I, I still like him. In grade 13, he was in barbershop singing at that time, and he was very popular with barbershopping, barbershop concerts, and from there he went on to bigger things. You know, he's kind of like he's touched Canada in a way that you know, nobody else has, you know. Like, it's hard to explain, because obviously you've got Joni and Neil and Leonard, um, but like they all kind of moved away, you know, and Gord stayed here. back in 1987 when I was pregnant with my daughter Becky, who's now 24, and he serenaded me with, uh, if you could read my mind. I sort of grew up listening to Gordon Lampo with my father, played a lot of Gordon Lampo songs, so it's nostalgic for me, I guess. You know, he's really one of the best uh, artists, the best uh, love poets um, uh, of our time. There's no question that he's, uh, he's just a, a, a star. We love him. He's, he's a beautiful soul and an incredible artist and musician. I always wanted to see him at Massey Hall. So that's kind of the venue he's famous for, his concerts at Massey Hall and here. You know, and I've, I've seen Dylan and all these other people here. It's kind of our Royal Albert Hall, you know. It's our kind of, um, it's a theater, but it doesn't feel uptight, you know, like some theaters can feel uptight. This feels just really warm and um, I think it, it sort of works whether you're doing folk music or, or rock and roll or anything. It just feels, um, there's an energy to this room. I, um, I came, uh, the last time Gordon was here, I came with Ron. And um, I've been to Massey Hall before and I've seen Gordon a few times. I just think he's just a very special, not only songwriter, but person. And um, so it's always great to be in his company and it's always great to hear that music. People, I think, get romantic about it uh, because of all the life that shows. I mean, he's been playing, what is it, you know, four nights or whatever, you know, since the 60s, I think, you know, when he first started doing it. It's pretty incredible, that run. And every year you see him, you know, I mean, he's, well, what, he's early 70s now. You're always, it just becomes kind of more, um, kind of more dear in a way, you know, because you, you know, you hope he'll be around forever, right? But nobody is, is around forever. <laughs> So I mean, I try to come see him every year. So.